Mm. Cool, man. We just getting started. Got a guest coming on in a second. Jungle by the Euphony off the EP in sight. Welcome to another episode of I Can't Make This Up, the show about bringing people together from different backgrounds to share true stories that have happened in their life. I'm your host, AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. From there, you have my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. It's all located at ajdunk.com. This is how special my damn guest is. That we had to start the show, then we had to stall a little bit, then we had to end it, and then we had to start it again. So guest, if you would, please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Oh my God. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is my name is Demo, but uh, my real name is John. But Demo is the nickname. Hello, everyone. <laughs> when you do this, do you look right at the camera, or do you look at do you look at where you're talking, or do you look at the person that's talking to you? Now, Demo, I ask, can yes. you share this story that has happened? This true story that has happened in your life, camera. I can't, circle, I will. Circle, 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 circle. It's funny that you said circle because like that's kind of uh, on topic with what I'm going to talk about. We're in, in the ballpark, in the ballpark, in the realm. A long, long time ago, back when I was a kid, my older sister and I, we were, it was the afternoon. My mom was watching soap operas. So we decided to go in the backyard and, uh, you know, play. And as kids, you know, things for some reason, what you like doing is making mud pies. Uh, for the life of me, I don't know why. It's like when you say the you know, when you say the word mud pie, every like every time I've said the word mud pie, I feel like I've needed to defend what it is. But everyone has I've met everyone going like, no, 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 I get it. I know what it is. I know exactly what you mean. It's soil and water. You make a mud. It's mud pie. So we. <laughs> Thank you for explaining, because I was like, it was summer, because it was like hot, because like we're in the backyard. This is when I tell people it starts getting a little bit make no sense. And uh, also, my mom was making mac and cheese, so uh, that's a fact. The blue, the blue box blues, baby. They're a, a small helicopter that wasn't making any noise uh, starts landing in our backyard very slowly. And the way my backyard is like, is it's like, it makes no sense if you if you look at it. It's like how possible because like there's a huge tree, there's like uh, trees with you know the electricity, uh, the wires, the whatnot, the telephone poles. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for before. And like you know, so it's pretty much impossible to land, but it did because you know, so so, so if that makes no sense. It's that's the point of it. It's not you're not supposed to be believable. You're supposed to just like you know just except what it is it lands slowly and then it was like a, it was like an army helicopter it was like a dark green and, and it was like a dude dressed like an army dude you know like with like aviator glasses uh the, you know the, the not like the uh the camouflage gear but like you know dark navy green uh shorts or whatever uh it's kind of funny because like he looked like a dude from the reno you know the dude with the short shorts in reno 911 Yes. He, it's, it's like he, like like this is the first time I'm like I'm comparing comparing to that dude because like I feel like that would always discredit my story if I compared it to the guy that was like Reno, but like that's how we looking mustache, uh, uh, glasses, buzz cut, uh, shorts, and he uh, told my sister and I, "Do you want to <laughs> hop in and fly away?" And like you know. My little sister and I were, not my little sister, not my older sister and I were like, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, okay. But we got to go pack for, oh, hey, dude, just don't judge, don't judge uh, four-year-old me. 
I'm listening. I'm just talking about the story. <laughs> now, now you're just listening. I'm talking about the story. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, like, you know, my sister and I, uh, we just go, like, cool, yeah, but, like, let's go pack. So we go downstairs. Uh, my mom, and I, I won't say, like, not paying attention, but, you know, like, uh, she was a single parent making mac and cheese, watching soap operas. Uh, it, 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 to get a moment of quietness, like seeing the kids, you know, not getting along, really, they are getting along, not causing a ruckus. It's like peace in uh, peace. So she didn't pay any mind to what we were doing. Exactly. She thinks we were just like being kids and playing. So we packed our stuff, but mind you, we're kids. So kids pack, you know, just like us. we pack nothing. So we come back outside and uh, the helicopter has gone. It's not there anymore. And we're, we're like, we were really disappointed. So we go back downstairs and like, we're both crying. And like my mom's like, what's going on? She was, and we told her, we told her the story was going on. There was a man outside asked us to leave with him, but he's not there anymore. We're sad. And my mom was like, what? <laughs> So we said again, there's a man in the backyard that wants us to fly away with them. He's not there anymore. So my mom starts freaking out and she uh, goes to my grandpa, my uncle, and tells them the story. They both freak out. Cause you know, when you, when you, you, you hear like you know, two little kids, a man tells them to leave with them. Your first instinct is see red. So like my, my grandpa and uncle were like, just like searching the house they're searching the garage they were like you know like you know it's one of those situations where like they don't call the cop they just take matters into their own hand yeah like, they, they, yeah you know what it is it's like oh, oh yeah i don't need the cops to like do you know what i want to do <laughs> hey, <right? laughs> so it's like uh but they found nothing and like they thought my sister and i were like making it up so they started like, I don't want to say interrogating us, but they would separate us and tell us a story, like, so we can tell what happened. And it was like, word for word, what it is. And like, it was one of those, like, unless my sister and I were like, very good at like making stories up and like the continuity of it. It's highly impossible though, because like, we're, we're like four, I was four, she was seven. So highly impossible that we're able to have a detailed story word for word and both be upset by it after that like a lot of stuff sprung like weird things like um my sister and i we uh have same dreams then there was this like one situation where like i was like in the first grade and like i just fell to my knees and started start, started shouting my sister's name and I had like a pain in my stomach. And at that same time, my sister was at a dentist and she was freaking out. And this was like all in like the same, um, like one year time period after this happened. And like, that's all I got. That's what do you mean that's all you got? Motherfucker, you could have stopped after you said <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Hold on. Yo, this, this shit, oh my. Yo, whoo! It's like we was driving, and then all of a sudden the car turned into a boat, and then the boat went underwater, and we were mining. <laughs> I was like, "Hold on, what?" Wait, wait, wait! The hold on, because I don't even know how to ask. I don't even know how to ask questions on this. Like, oh, what the fuck? Hold, hold on. Yeah. And I remember like telling this to a, a friend and he went down like on a rabbit hole showing me every possible uh, helicopter that could possibly fit the dimension that I was talking about. And I think like the closest thing that he uh, found was like a gyro. You know, over time you, you wonder like, what if it was just like my sister and I being kids? What if we were just being in our imagination like, you know, taking us elsewhere but the fact that like i can still remember the dude's face and like still remember like the details like it's in my brain has to speak volumes does your sister still talk about this story dude it's it's funny you ask because like i once told this story to like 
10 people and they're like, they had the same enthusiasm that you did. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna call my sister. So I called my sister, retold the story, just in case like she may have like, well, no, no, I, I, like here's the honest truth. I started telling the story, hoping that she would cut me off and finish it for me, but she didn't. And then after I was done, she was like, it was like a pause, a sigh, and then she was like, I think we were just kids. And I was like, no, oh, it, it was like, um, like Titanic when like uh, Leo, like the hand thing got let go and I just drowned. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Shit. Listen, if you feel strongly about it, I'm not going to call you a liar. <laughs> um, thank you so much. All you freaks that are outside without a mask. I got a message for you. I hope you stay healthy and I hope you live like us, but you still know how stupid it was that you did and that you're risking everyone. Uh, parents with kids, uh, make sure they're right in front of you. Don't let them run away uh, because shit happens. Uh, there's a great Twitter account you should follow. Uh, mine. Uh, it's John Dimacopoulos. Uh, it's J-O-N D-I-M-A-K-O-P-O-U-L-O-S all together. My name is AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. Don't forget, laughter's always in style. And let them know, my.